Hi everybody, this is Robin Krasny and I'm on the red carpet with my favorite guy, Bill Williams of A Cut Above Video. Bill, you've been doing this for how many years? 17 years of the 18 years of the MIF. Yes, I have been here for 17 of the 18 too. And, and I wanted to say that A Cut Above Video does all the tech to make this possible. However, not by myself. No, uh, we have a crew. Rachel used to, come here, you used to do this. This is Rachel. Rachel has gone on to bigger and better uh, <laughs> career opportunities. <laughs> Carrie is now. Come in, Carrie. Come on over. Come, come, come. Full time. So we've got, yeah. we've got Carrie, Rachel. Gabe is behind the camera. So Sorry, you can't see Gabe. Can't see Gabe. Uh, the man the and but uh, we've been doing the technical production for this. We're warming up right now because we don't have anybody waiting to be in line. We're making sure everything's working right in the theater. And I'm assuming, uh, Billy, if you saw a problem, you'd have been squawking at me over this thing. <laughs> so I think we're good. Uh, I actually shot three of the films that were in here. I DP'd on three of them. So I'm also an independent filmmaker. He's kind of a big deal. He's a really big deal. Just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> he is. Uh, Which films uh, did you shoot? I, did, I worked on... Uh, <laughs> Why are you looking at me? <laughs> He's been up for too many days the doing fortune, this film. The fortune. And that was with uh, uh, Florida Film and Talent. Yeah. I mean, uh, uh, Florida Independent <laughs> Filmmakers. And uh, then I worked on uh, Nevermore. Nevermore. Thank you. That's why there's people here, because I don't remember what I worked on. And uh, Sue Dantel's film, Never... No, that was Nevermore. And then uh, Bill Ronnett's Not Today. Okay. Never more, not today. Not a negative. Oh, and Carrie, you were associate producer. Associate producer on that one. Oh, ah. yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. And now I'm going to do my my floor directing job here on the red carpet and go back behind the camera where I'm more comfortable and work it from there. So <laughs> thank you, Bill. Thank you. A cut above video. Thank you, Carrie. Thank you, Robin. Thank you, Rachel. I love having you girls. Aren't we pretty on the red carpet? Maybe we should do this, like, do the Charlie's Angels. Really? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, I need to be this I, 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 Yeah, you're, what do I do? Hi. <laughs> okay, I don't know what the middle girl does. I don't know. Anyway, we're so excited. This is the 18th year of the 18th, Melbourne Independent yes. Filmmakers Festival. What's your favorite part, Carrie? Oh, well, I love the red carpet, but my favorite part is actually getting to see all the different filmmakers come in and be able to express all of their different views and tell their stories in such a unique way. It's really, yeah. really a great thing. I, and you know, film requires not just the actors and the director, That's but the true. whole crew. The our, whole crew, absolutely. Yeah. And art department, makeup, right, hair. Right down to the person who gets the waters. I mean, everybody's everybody important. is important. Everybody is important. Everybody is important in filmmaking process. So if you're out there, you're thinking about becoming a filmmaker, just know that you need a team. And a team and a story. Yep, and as part of that team, I'm actually going to start getting you some other people down oh, here. How's okay, that? bye, go do your job. Do your okay, job. all right, I'll, and I'll do my job. Hi, Raphael. I'm Robin Krasny. Nice Welcome to the 18th Melbourne Independent Filmmakers Festival. Come right over here. Let me hear about your film. Uh, I'm the producer and the writer of Attack of the Killer Donuts. Oh my gosh. How's that to, to produce? Uh, it was fun. It's the funnest I've ever had. Really? Oh, it's, yeah. it's a horror film with donuts. It's a horror comedy, yes. It's uh, They actually come to life and they have teeth and, and they attack. So you did with CG? We used real donuts, puppet donuts, and CGI donuts. I want a puppet donut. Yes. <laughs> they mysteriously <laughs> vanished I'm once sure. we wrapped. So. <laughs> That's really cool. So is this your first time at The Myth? Yes, it is. What do you think so far? This is fun. I, I, I definitely want to come back. What was your role on the film? You're a producer? Writer and producer. Okay, so did you have a great talented cast and a great talented crew of donuts? Yes, well we shot in LA and oh, then did. one of the advantages is there's so much talent over there. We had C. Thomas Howell and then behind the scenes we had uh, um, the person who blew up the White House in the first Independence Day. He oh. blew up our donut shop. So cool. That was awesome. That yeah. was an epic donut blow up. Yes, it well, was. Well, it's so nice to meet you, Raphael. Thank you for bringing your film to the myth and oh, we yeah. hope to see you in future years. Oh, I definitely will. Okay. I'm coming back. Attack of the Killer Donuts. Yes. Oh, I've got to ask, where did you come up with the premise for that? It's uh, in the noodle somewhere. It was, uh, it was just, um, it's, it's basically a horror comedy, like mm -hmm. a fun 80s movie. Like, they don't make any more. It's just, you know, it's all, you, you could tell by the title, it's not Gandhi. So. No, it's not Gandhi, a little satire. So what, uh, what 
what made you exactly decide you wanted to present your film here at the Melbourne International Film Festival? Oh, uh, well, I'm from Miami, and then I, I wanted to do the, the festival circuit and especially keep it local. And right. I, I think MIF does a really good job of encouraging Florida filmmakers. And I is think we have to support each other. Is this your first time here? Yes, first time. What do you think so far? Oh, I'm coming back. I mean, I think it's great. Exactly that. I, there's so many films made in Florida that I've seen here. I'm from Miami, and, and other festivals that will remain nameless uh, are not as friendly to locals, where MIF is very friendly to all Floridians. Well, as one Miami into another, welcome and thank Hi. you very much. Hi, Barry. What did you Hi. do this year? Um, I am here just to attend this lovely film festival, really? see all my protégés work out there. So I want to see what this they're throwing exciting. out. Your yeah. protégés, what, what films do they work on? Um, these guys, uh, my friends have some of the independents in here, so I want to see, like, surprise myself, see what I see out here tonight. Oh, so, good. Yeah, it's my first Are you first scouting night. for talent? Ah, it's possible. You never know. Hey, everybody in the audience, if you're talent and you want to maybe work in the film industry, Barry here. Go knock mm. Barry. Yeah. Phantom Productions of Florida. Right? Uh, What's it called? Friends in Production? Phantom Productions of Florida. Yeah, Phantom Productions of Florida. This is Barry Eager. Thank you for joining me on the red carpet. Yeah. I haven't seen you in a while. Thank You're looking you. fabulous. Oh, thank you very much. Yes. What does the International Film Festival here in Melbourne do for you as a producer? Um, I think that it's a way to offer some advertising for if we want to be well known as a filmmaker. You mm -hmm. know, it's one step closer to being recognized for our work. So, And that's always great. So anyway, we thank you very much for being here, and good luck and enjoy. Thank Hope you, you come much. back next year with a film. Roy, what, what did you produce this year? The Wrong something? The Wrong Lane. I was director of that. She played Sophie. She was uh, one of my stars in it, and uh, it's a very good film, and we were glad to do it. So how did you feel about The Myth this year? It's great. It's always great. It can yeah. never not be great. I know, I know. We enjoyed immensely. I'm so glad you're here. The crowds have been fantastic. Yeah, yeah. The, the films have been fantastic. Yes, they have. Too. Yes. So, Arwen, what did you play in the wrong lane? Uh, I played Sophie, a very angsty young lady who got to slap people and call them names. So, it was always fun. That's a fun role to play. Yes. Did you let your dark side come out? Of course I do. I always do with that. <laughs> well, I love that you're here again this year. Thank you for coming, Roy. And Arwen, we'll see you in the movies. You're absolutely correct. Okay, thanks for coming out. I am the director of The Wrong Lane. We were uh, in the uh, films that they ran this afternoon. It's mm -hmm. a great short film about uh, a young lady right here, who play, uh, Arn, who plays Sophie, about finding her birth parents for the very first time after 24 years. Really? So it's a, a movie about uh, people that are adopted. Right. Which is puts me in the lane because I'm an adopted child as well. That's why we wrote it. My wife uh, and I co-wrote the film, and that's about, and that's why she did it. Was about uh, she has two adopted children, and one of them wanted to know about her birth parents, and the other ones didn't. And uh, Sophie, through a mysterious interaction, finds out that my gosh, I actually have birth parents. She she didn't know that. So this is it's a, a fictitious story, but based on real things. Yeah, because it can make sometimes be very difficult for children to find who their real mother and father are. So one of the reasons, what are the reasons that you come here to the Melbourne International Film Festival? Well, obviously about the films that I, I like to uh, you know direct and uh, Brevard Film and Talent. Uh, produce this one, but it's also to see everybody else's wonderful works that they do here. Uh, this is my second year at this festival, and there's just nothing but fantastic crowds and great talent. And we hope to see you back next year. Roy, thank you very thank much. much. Jolie, what did you do in this um, film festival? I directed the movie A Day at the Beach. You directed a movie? Wait, how old are you? 13. You're 13 and you directed a movie? Mm -hmm. Wow, everybody. What was that like? It was fun. <laughs> So. What was the hardest thing for you as a 13-year-old directing people? Well, it didn't really have people in it because I've done movies with people before and it's really hard. Yeah, it's harder with people than it is yeah. without. So what kind of uh, scenario did you do? What was your film? Well, I just kind of filmed like the beach and like shells and the water and stuff. So. Oh, how nice. And you did all the editing and all the production work? Mm -hmm. Well, congratulations for being here. You're probably one of our youngest filmmakers here at The Myth. A day at the beach. And what's the premise? It's just kind of like about the beach and like the shells and the sand and stuff. And what made you decide you wanted to be here at the Melbourne International Film Festival? Well, I've entered films before and it's fun. So. And how many years have you entered films? Three, I think. Definitely. All right. Well, are you going to be back next year? Yes. All right. Well, thank you very much and you have a great time. This is so much fun. 13 years old. Sorry. I know. We've got to get everybody in the camera. This is the time for everyone to shine, for the filmmakers to shine for the talent to shine. 
we like to showcase our filmmakers here at this festival, which is unlike a lot of festivals. We give all of our money to charity, we showcase our filmmakers like stars, and we really appreciate all the support that we get from our community and our sponsors. And if you're out there in the audience right now and you're one of our sponsors, we love you. Thank you so much for being here. All right. <laughs> Joanne, Miss Robin. Hi, Joanne. How are you? Now you produced uh, Joanne Johnson. Yes, Joanne Johnson, and I did I'm Crazy, as well as I was also involved in The Fortune and The Final Kick. So involved in three wow, films. Wow, three films. You yes. sound like Bill Williams. Did you work with him on I any? did, I did. I got to work with Bill on The Fortune. It was wonderful. It filmed out in Orlando, a wonderful crew, and just a fabulous time. Look forward to doing it again. Well, I like that dress. Thank you very much. You look beautiful. Very hot. Always. This dress, isn't okay. it? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank now, Joanne, you. Joanne, so we've seen you how many years here at the Met? This is my fifth year in a row. I am so proud and so happy and so excited to be here. Five years in a row, Robin, as a director. Totally mm -hmm. ecstatic and so proud to be here on the red carpet and to be with the people that are here and the filmmakers and the production crews the they are amazing they come in from all over the country yes. all over the world as a matter of fact yes, all over yes. the world international and dr cronin and all of the crew bill everybody yourself robin do such a wonderful job carrie gabe everybody and just can't thank you all enough for your event and everything that you do out here with the myth it's just mwah, wonderful it, it being is here. and i'm i'm glad that you named your film i'm crazy i'm crazy exactly my video was called I'm Crazy. It was a video that's actually an elemental look at the love for the earth and how we're all connected as one. Either that or you found out a little bit about my life. This is true. This so how many times have you been here to the Melbourne International Film Festival? This is wonderful. This is my fifth year in a row as a director here. I'm ecstatic to be here. It's a wonderful, wonderful event. Um, I also have worked on two other films with some other people, um, The Fortune and The Final Kick at this event. Wonderful people, wonderful event. Just love doing everything and being here. So you're a local artist? Yes, I am. I've been here. I went to Eastern Florida State College as well as Florida Metropolitan at the time for film and video and digital media production. So can you tell us a little about maybe your future project? for next year? Yeah, I'm hoping to start some documentary stuff and my son, who's um, only 12, uh, came with me today and is inspired by the Get Inspired event and says he wants to make a film. What so, is it about the Melbourne International Film Festival that makes people come back year after year when you talk to different people at these events? It's truly, I think, the love that Dr. Cronin puts into it and Bill Williams and all of the staff and crew, Robin. It's just such a wonderful event. They really pick wonderful films and the people come out have such joy joy and the families and such support. It's just a wonderful, wonderful event and truly honored to be here and proud to be part of it. Well, it's been an honor to meet you and I love your back. Thank you. Thank you so much. See, baby got She back. loves her back. <laughs> Paulette King and Charday Cousineau, who the film is named after. Is that right? Could you give us a little uh, info? You want me to talk to Charday? Charday, please yes. tell us what's going on with this film. Um, hopefully it's the step in a direction to make not just this country, but the world more aware of EB. And EB, EB, EB. Yeah, EB is short for epidermolysis bullosa, wow. which is the rare skin disorder that I was born with and that the film talks about. Come on, Paulette. You've been a, an award winner here at the MIF before. Tell us a little bit about what inspired you to do this film on Charday's Life. Well, last year at the MIV, she approached me and told me that two people directed her to me. That was Bill Williams and, mm -hmm. and Terry Cronin. And then the rest is history. Well, I, I'm sure the film is incredible. All right, Sade, would you like to come in and we'll talk to you a little bit about here? So tell us a little bit about, and the camera's right over there, okay. tell us a little bit about the project. Um, well, the project is the Chardé Cousineau story. It's just a little bit of my life, what I have to endure day to day. Um, a lot of pain is involved, but a lot of, you know, push it aside and get stuff done. You gotta get, go to the grocery store, you gotta shop, you know, you have to go to school, you gotta go to church hang out with the niece, you know, play with her. Mm -hmm. You can't let things like that stop you, so. And, and, what, um, and what made you decide to enter a film here at MIF? Uh, last year, actually, it was last year's MIF. I came, it was the first time, kind of crashed it. And um, I was like, I, I want to be on that screen, so. Well, we thank you very much and we wish you all the best. Thank you.